Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Saps officer's testimony on Mayuwa's alleged murder night in prison raises so much questions already as so much is being revealed, so much is being exposed. Yo, is it the truth that is being revealed in court or are they all fabricated lies? Please do all to follow Jam Vibes before I give you all the entire information. Like this video and drop a comment and most importantly guys do all to share this video to as many friends as possible because I'm telling you all that this is really the only way in which you can show support and love to me. Before I give you all the main details still, in a dramatic turn of events during yesterday's court session in the ongoing investigation into the murder of Senzo Meiwa, a SAPS officer took the witness stand to provide crucial context. The trial, which has captivated South Africa's attention, saw defendant attorney advocate Ramos Epele engaging in an aggressive line of questioning aimed at shedding light on the alleged interaction between his client and SAP's officer Zungu. Advocate Ramos Epele began by responding to the allegations made by the first accused who claimed to have first encountered Officer Zungu in 2019 when Zungu was with Guambini. In a surprising twist, Officer Zungu expresses appreciation and amazement at the accusation. The witness then offered insight into the purported relationship between accused two and Officer Zungu, emphasizing that accused two, unlike the others, shared familial ties with the Tanzi family, casting doubt on the evidence of their familiarity. However, the relentless questioning continued as Advocate Ramos Epele disputed the whereabouts of Accused 1 and 2 on the tragic day of October 26, 2014. Accused 1 had claimed he was working in Calvertonville and never visited Johannesburg, but Officer Zungu contested this, stating that he had met Accused 1 in Fort Lourdes on that fateful day and this caused a huge stir already in court. Both accused 1 and 2 have vehemently denied completely with their utmost full chest any involvement in Senzo Meiwa's departure from this world and everybody is left in shock why Officer Zungu actually said something as such that literally they were at a hostel in Fosluros that fateful night. Officer Zungu, when pressed, reaffirmed his position, stating unequivocally that he will never lie about their involvement or fabricate evidence already, given to the fact that he has nothing to benefit beyond all what is ongoing already. All he wants is just to seek for the truth and nothing but the truth. The courtroom was further electrified as Officer Zungu discussed his conversation with Warrant Officer Makubo. He revealed that he had informed Makubo of accused five's presence at the scene. However, Makubo had allegedly disregarded this information as false. Even with the arrest of accused five, Officer Zungu explained that Makubo still harbored doubt about his involvement in the crime. The trial as well continues to unfold with new twists and revelations, keeping the nation on edges as it awaits justice for the tragic murder of Senzo Meiwa. It's been over eight years already, close to a decade, and of course, the person who pulled the trigger on Senzo Meiwa is yet to be disclosed to the entire public. It is so sad, I feel bad for South Africans. The credibility of Officer Zungo's testimony and the complexities of the case remain central to the proceedings as the court endeavors to uncover the truth behind the high-profile case. Officer Zungo at some point even revealed that these people, on coming back from where they actually went to, told him with almost conviction that Senzo Meiwa is no more. In doubt, he immediately rushed to the socials to check if the media already has it and to his greatest shock, the media hadn't posted it yet. So, he was left in disbelief based on what he was told. But then again, to his greatest shock, the next morning while he woke up, he discovered all over the media that Senzo Meiwa is no more and he started asking himself, how on earth did these people even know and were so convinced that Senzo Meiwa is no more and it only came to a better understanding to him when, of course, these people started being on the search, they were being arrested and they started having ties to the Senzo Meiwa's case and he was like, yo... So, his suspicion is actually true. Anyways, guys, you all tell me in the comment section what you think about this. I love you all so dearly.